honorable, the humble, the loving, the wise, Bishop Glenn Staples. Let's receive him by saying amen. Let's give the Lord's name praise. Come on, we ought to do better than that. He has been good to us. I'm still so excited about being here. Just being here around Bishop Watkins, who is our presiding prelate. Somebody help me praise God for him. Amen. Amen. Keep on going. Keep on going. <laughs> Amen. Just a blessing so he can pour into us and bless us. And we don't really know who we have. We have an idea, but we don't really know who we have. I uh, want to talk to you from the book of Psalms. Psalm 16. Verse 6. The Bible says, the boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, I have a beautiful inheritance. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, I have a beautiful inheritance. <clears throat> Master, send your word. You should serve unto your glory. In Jesus' name, let us all say amen. amen. You may be seated. <clears throat> I think oftentimes that we, God is so good to us that uh, we forget just how good he is. <laughs> We, we get up in the morning, we get dressed, we go to work. Uh, but we oftentimes don't realize there are people who are having some difficult times. And we seem to somehow or another ignore the fact that uh, he has been so wonderful to us that our praise level in comparison to how good he has been is rather low. And then when you think about what he's going to do, you must understand that God's going to do some great things, some greater things for you and for me. David here is talking about uh, the boundary lines. But you got to understand this particular psalm was written by David when he was a fugitive. They were trying to kill him. And he still found words to praise God. He said in the next verse, he said, I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my conscience instructs me. I will keep the Lord in mind always because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. That's what God is looking for now. He's looking for folk that will not be shaken. It matters not what happened because you know God's got your back. He's got you. And that's why we have to magnify him, lift him up, and give his name the glory. We got to toda God. We, we, got, we got to give God a yada praise. Give God a gill praise. A gill praise is when you just turn around. You leap. You leap for joy. Yad, I praise, is when you throw your hands up because the word Yad in Hebrew means hand. You must understand somehow or another that 
<clears throat> you got to praise him from the bottom of your soul. Praise is not a lackadaisical thing. It's work. It's battle. Because as much as the devil been trying to do to you, you got to fight back with a praise. You got to fight back with a praise. Tonight we're going to be here for a little while, but while we're here, we're going to magnify him. Magnifying God, and you hear us talk about that all the time, means that we've got to praise God bigger than the problem. Whatever the problem may be. And God gives us problems oftentimes, it seems like, on a regular. He just blesses us with problems. Because problems make us stronger. You're going through something, it makes you stronger. You get to the place where you realize that God's got your back. It makes you stronger. So here the Bible talks about that. He said, now God has blessed us. The boundary line in my life have fallen pleasant places. In other words, he, he, has, he has guided me without me even knowing that he's guided me. I, I didn't even know what was going on. I, I'd be trying to go somewhere and can't find my keys and all of a sudden I find them. I get in the car. Uh, two minutes down the road, there's a major accident because God guides me. Guide me. Oh, thy great Jehovah, through this pilgrim land, he will guide you. Oftentimes, we don't really understand the people that we meet and folk God keep you away from. Do You do know God's keeping you from some folks. You thought you broke up with somebody. No, God broke that up. He broke all that up. You thought you had somebody. I got somebody. You call it and tell them, folk, I got somebody. I met somebody. And then all of a sudden, it falls apart in about two or three weeks. That's God, because he loves you. And, he, and, and on, only when I, I've noticed this, the only time we go through some terrible days is because we push to get something that God is trying to take from us. You're going to push it. You're going to make it. You're going to make it happen, and it ain't supposed to be. You'd be pushing it, calling it. Trying to find out where they at. Well, if you can't find them, you ain't supposed to find them. You get, they, they, their number, they blocking your number. You talking about the Lord said, the Lord ain't said nothing. You just inherited. Bless his holy name. So he guides us. He guides us. He delivers us. He puts us in situations somehow or another that we don't even realize or understand. God will guide you. He'll open up doors. You will meet folk that will help you on your job, help you financially, just out the blue. Somebody will offer you something. God got your life. He's got your life. You don't know when you were born. They told you when you were born. You took that date and ran with it. And you don't know when you're going to die. But you're here now. And you hear now to let folk know that God is going to do some great things. So he guides you. He guides you. He guides you along the way. He guides you. I've seen him do it to me oftentimes. He guides you. I've been in different organizations trying to find where I'm supposed to be. Had a church and a bunch of members. And, and I'm over here trying to do this and I'm trying to do this. And then God guided me to higher ground. He guided me. I didn't know anything about higher ground. I knew Bishop Jakes because we grew up together. I didn't know nothing about higher ground. I'd heard of Bishop Watkins. I knew his brother. I preached for his brother. But I didn't know nothing about the organization. I'd heard about the church. I never thought I'd be a part of such a wonderful organization because he guided me. <laughs> Things happened. Things happened. And I turned this way, and I went here, and I went there. I had a curiosity about this or about that. He was guiding me. He was guiding. Not only did he guide me, he guarded me. <clears throat> he is a protector. He is a protector. He will protect you. When the devil is after you constantly. And don't, don't, don't you get to the place where you think he ain't after you. 
He's after you right now. He mad because you came to church. It's this, this thing is so strategic and so technical that you have to realize that he's trying to do something to you to hurt you now. He don't want you to praise God anymore. He don't want you to be happy anymore. He's trying to stop you from getting what God has for you. God got something for you that's going to blow your mind. He's got something for you. He's got something for you that's going to cause you to testify about what God is doing in your life for the rest of your life. If you could only see down the road a little bit, he would do something for you. you you'd start shouting right now if you knew what he had for you and what he's keeping you from. He's keeping you from. You thought you got a flat tire. I can't go now. He's guarding you. You're supposed to meet somebody. No, it didn't happen. He's guarding you. You're supposed to go to New York for, for, for the holiday. No, you can't go now. He's guarding you. Your grandbaby had a cold. You got, you got to go to the doctor. He's guarding you. He's helping you. He's helping you get to where he wants you to be. Oftentimes we are lackadaisical in understanding what God is doing. We're in a place somehow or another where we're trying to make things work out. And when you try, when you try to make it work, it don't. You have wasted some time in your life, and you got to the place where it don't look like nothing's ever going to happen for you. I came by to tell you that God knows what you're going through. He knows what you're going through, and it won't be long. Now watch this, watch this, watch this. Before 23, you didn't hear what I said. Before 23 comes. He's going to turn your whole life around before 23. I prophesy tonight in the name of Jesus that God will bless you remarkably before 2023. And don't worry about who in the White House and who ain't in the White House. You just got to worry about who in this house right here. You in this house. Don't worry about that. God is in charge of all houses. Before it happens, before it happens, and folk been looking at you wondering, and they, you know, it's, it's funny how folk will not want the best for you. People in church will not want the best for you. You look at it and you say, well, why, why, why you don't, you, can, you can't tell them you got a new car. You, you walk in church with a new outfit on, they're looking at you, they, they're gritting on you because you got some shoes. Well, God bless you to get them. And then when you get them, you need to shout at them. Don't buy nothing. You can't shout in. Don't, don't get so clean. You can't shout. You, you can't lift up your hands and <clears throat> magnify him because you're too sharp today. And it was God that blessed you to get what you got. Glory to God. So while David... Uh, while David was on the run, and Saul was trying to kill him, the Bible says he thought about how good God had been to him. Now watch this. He's on the run. He's thinking about how good God is. And the whole army trying to kill him. That's the way it is with us. Demons from everywhere are trying to stop you from giving God the glory. Demons come from different places trying to stop you from lifting up your hands and magnifying God and praising him because, you know, he's been good. Don't you know that a praise will back a demon up, a demon will try to do something to you. But if you give God a praise out your belly, you will back that demon up. Glory to God. I came by here to magnify him because he's been too good to me. I can't come in church and not open up my mouth. <clears throat> And give God's name praise. He's been wonderful to me. But not only will he guide you, not only will he protect you and guard you, but he will gladden you. He will make you happy. Glory to God. Sometimes we sit around and just talking about the God. The God that saved us. 
And all of a sudden, the spirit will fall. I'll be sitting talking with Bishop Watkins, and we'll be talking about anything. He started talking about the, 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 the Lord, and, and the spirit will drop in the living room because he wants to keep you happy. He said, I'm going to give you a gift. It's called joy. I'm going to give you something. So when the devil tries to attack you, you got something to attack the devil by. It's called joy. Joy. Joy in my soul. He can't do nothing to it because all you got to do to get happy again is think about how good God has been. Just a thought. Just a thought. If I think about it, I'll get happy. The time the things looked like they weren't going to work out, I thought about it. And when I thought about it, things worked out just fine. And I, I gave God's name to praise because he's been wonderful to me. I don't know how you feel about it, but he's been wonderful to me. He brought me from a long way. And every time I begin to think about how good he's been to you, and I used to hear my mama say, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, my soul, my soul, my soul, cries out hallelujah thank you lord for saving me so i came by to find me somebody to help me praise the name of the lord i came here from washington dc all the way to columbus just to dance and to shout just to open up my mouth and throw my hands up and throw my head back and find another brother or sister that don't mind praising the lord when god been good to you you can't hold it. To, you got to open up your mouth and, and praise him like you've gone crazy. Somebody shout glory, glory, glory. All you got to do when times look bad is to praise his name. When situations don't look good, it's praise his name. They told me the other day that one of the members was in the hospital. I started giving God's name the praise because I know God going to bring them out. I believe God. I trust him. I know he's able. If you know that he's able, turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, oh, neighbor, I know he's able. Glory to God. Everything, everything, everything is going to be all right. Thank you, Lord. It's going to be just fine. Somebody in the house, you've been going through hell. I'm glad that you're here because you got to praise God to shake that demon off of you. Praise him to shake that thing off of you. Turn to your neighbors and neighbor. Shake it off. Shake it off. Praise him, dance like ain't nobody looking, shout like ain't nobody looking, throw your hands up, glory to God, somebody give God a praise, somebody shout glory, somebody shout hallelujah, somebody shout thank you Lord, in this harvest season, get ready for your harvest, it's about to rain down, get ready for your harvest, God got a harvest for you. Glory to God, you've been waiting a long time, but tonight, with your praise, it's harvest time. Touch your neighbor and shout, it's harvest time. Everything is going to be all right. Everything is going to turn around. With my children, with my grandchildren, everything is going to turn around. On my job, with my finances, glory to God, everything, everything is going to turn around. I came by to tell you, you got to give God a crazy praise. As I get ready to go to my seat, the praise got to be crazy. You got to praise him like you used to praise him. You got to dance like you used to dance. You got to holler like you used to holler. Somebody here that know what I'm talking about, when you want to get God's attention, you got to open up your mouth and give his name a praise out your belly. He's worthy. Somebody shout. Oh, somebody shout. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Find yourself a, a praise partner. Grab him by the hand. Look him in the face. Say, dance with me. Shout with me. Run with me. Holler with me. He's worthy.
worthy. Somebody shout it. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. so far. He'll stop you. He'll stop you. The boundary line. The boundary line. You can't go but so far. You try to go over here, you can't go but so far. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Let me know it's going to be, and I have a goodly inheritance. My inheritance is going to be wonderful. It's harvest time. Glory to God. Tell, tell, tell somebody, tell them, tell them, I got a wonderful harvest. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, 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 watch this. There are people who come along, like there was a book written called The Secret. And 
all they did was took some scripture and turned it around. And what they did, they said, you got to say it out loud. And we've been doing that, but we stopped doing it. We stopped doing it. I want you to help me do something. Just help me do something. Yeah, if you don't mind, we're going to lift off in just a minute. But just stand, stand, stand up with me for a minute. Just a second, please. I want you to lift your hands and start speaking out loud what you already got in the spirit. Just go ahead and start, start talking out loud. I'm going to be blessed. I'll be healed. I'll be prosperous. My grandchildren will be protected. Just say, say it out loud. Say it out loud. Say it. Glory to God. Say it out loud. 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 No tragedies. Say it out loud. No premature deaths. Say it out loud. Say it. No accidents. No accidents. Say it out loud. Glory to God. He got our families. He's got us in the hollow of his hand. Say it out loud. The boundary line. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now let's give God a ridiculous praise. Let's give, give God. Push it. Just push it. Push it. Push it. Oh, God. Push it. Push it. Push it. Back that demon up. Tell him you're blessed. You're healed. Glory to God. Somebody tell them, tell them, say, I wish you could see my tomorrow. When I think about, glory to God, when I think about what God's going to do for me, glory to God, when I think about what's coming, glory, I can hardly stand it. Bishop lifted one out. I'm, I'm still excited. God, I'm still excited. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory, glory to God. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Oh God. Lord have mercy. What he's gonna do? What he's gonna do? What he's going to do. People are not expecting it to happen. Some folk have written you off. Tell somebody, I say, you don't know me. You can't write me off. God's got me. He's got me. Lord, have mercy.
will be saved. All my children will be saved. All my great grandchildren will be saved. All of them. Shout me, give me God's name and praise. All of them. Somebody said, All my children. Glory to God. All my children. Speaking in tongues. Prophesying. Preaching. All my children. Our neighbor, all my children will be saved. Speaking in tongues, prophesying, all of them, preaching, pastoring, laying hands. Clap your hands, all you people. Oh, all of them. All of my family. All of them. Glory to God. I dare you to tell somebody, say, all my family be saved. The worst one in the bunch, he going to be the bishop. All of the children. You ought to praise God now. Oh! You ought to praise God right now. For the worst one in the bunch, for the one out there now, the one that's out there right now doing something crazy, you ought to praise God for him or her now. You ought to praise, oh God, you ought to praise God for him or her now, right now. The missionary, the mission. Help her praise you. Somebody help her praise you. Keep praising for her family. Just get over up and shout at them. Shout with them. Somebody in her family is going to turn their life over to God. Before the new year. Before the new year. Before the new year. talking about Jesus, but you got to say it, you got to say it, I left the door open for you, you got to say, you got to turn to your neighbor and say, the one in the family, the worst one in the family going to get saved before the new year, the one, the one is still in jail. I can say that. Because I was the worst one in the family. Glory to God. Glory to God. I want you to get something in your hand. Somebody join me with $100, pastors, preachers. 
John. Let's keep on praising God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. They're going to wear you out. Talking about the Bible. They're going to wear you out. You're going to get sick. When you see them coming, you're going to want to open the door. They're going to be talking about the word. I said, what does it say right here? What does it mean right here in Revelation? You got to get yourself together because they're coming. They're coming. They're coming. A new breed. A new breed of praises. They're coming. She know it. She know it. Stand to your feet with us, please. Bring your offering. Thank you. Just wherever you are, just stand and bring it and put it on the table. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Don't give me a slip. Thank you, Jesus. Press down, shake it.
And, I, and I, when Eric came today, he's going to be here Sunday. And he can preach. God knows he can preach. And he's going to be here Sunday. So when I saw he come to the door, to stand with me. And I said, this is my big boy. <laughs> I, said, <laughs> I said, this is my big boy. And then there's steel and uh, just all of them. And I just praise God for all of them. We just have such a wonderful relationship. And it's always the enemy. And I don't quite call it the enemy, but there's some things I had to hold that I couldn't tell because I know how the enemy always looks for something to dampen the spirit. And so I just want you to be praying for Broomfield's family. I got uh, a call today that they had taken him to the, into the ICU. And I just led to call back at, I think it was 3, 3, uh, 328. And at the same time, the little girl, she said, Bishop, why are you calling? Why, when you called at that time, she said, four minutes later he passed and so God just let you know that all this thing that he's been telling you it's not just some story it's not just something in the Bible it's something that's real and we just praise God just for even though we are so sad and have all of that I think with the joy that God blessed us with tonight uh huh he comes into the greater, the greater, the possession of God in us, kept us through this. And I, I knew it all this evening. I just didn't say nothing. I said, God, you got to let me know when and if to say it. And we just bless God for such a wonderful week. And we look forward to the climax on Sunday morning with Eric McDaniels all the way from this got two churches, one in New York and one in North Carolina. He preaches all over the country. He's a wonderful young man. He's been saved here since he's a little boy. And I used to listen to him saying in the convention, just a little boy. And still with God. Isn't that wonderful? Let's give God one more praise before we go home. Just a high praise with our hands. My God, to let God know we love him in spite of everything. Something just real. This death is reality. And we just praise him in the midst of everything, we give God honor and we give God praise. With uplifted hands, everybody standing. Lord, help me to have one mind. And let that be the mind of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, baby.